Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've got for you today our weekly food shop and this week we chose Tesco. This week came to £79 which was, it's kind of like in our budget. Um, so we didn't get quite as much meat and things but we got some drinks and just a couple of little Christmassy bits. So yeah, I'm quite happy with what we've got. Hope you enjoy and see you soon. So starting down here today I have picked up a gammon joint. Um, if you've watched these videos you know that we're quite keen on gammon joints because they do a good couple of meals and it was only £3.56 for this fairly decent sized gammon. Um, a pack of sausages and then I picked up some pork sausage meat this week. I've decided that I'm going to make some homemade scotch eggs because we haven't had them in ages. Um, I just really fancied them when I thought about them the other day so that's what we're going to do. Some onion and garlic dip and a pasty for my husband's lunch one day. Over here, we've got the 5% steak mince. This will generally, like I've said loads of times, either a cottage pie or a spaghetti bolognese. Um, I'll probably just do a spaghetti bolognese with this one. It'd be enough for us four and then a couple of portions in the freezer. And I think I've already got one of these minces left over in the freezer as well. So I might just do a bit of a batch cook one morning and then I'll do some cottage pies as well. Um, so that's that one. Some smoked bacon rashers. These look really nice actually. They're not too fatty. So yeah, really pleased with those. A fish pie mix and some breaded chicken Kievs. Two semi-skim milks and an orange juice. And then some country life butter. These yogurts were on offer. They were 150 for four. I thought it would just make a nice change for us to try those ones. And then a huge pack of watermelon fingers. I just ordered the cheapest melon medley, which was about 75 pence. And then they replaced them with this huge pack of watermelon fingers because they didn't have them. So I'm really pleased with that because that's everyone's favourite melon, I think, in this house. Uh, some strawberries. And then I've got some butternut squash and sweet potato because I'm going to make some soup this week. We have got some British baby potatoes because they were on offer. And then some extra fine green beans, some small bananas, a cucumber, some little gem lettuce. And then I've got two red peppers. I don't like green peppers at all. And I wanted to be sure that we were going to get red. So I thought I would just buy them individually. I'm actually going to halve them tonight and make up some nice spicy rice. And then I'm going to stuff them and we're going to have that with some um, chicken. I did get the chicken for the barbecue a long, long time ago, but it will do just as well in the oven. So that's what we're going to have with some salad. And then I've got these natural bread crumbs, which is a bit lazy because I can make my own for the scotch eggs. But I thought it'd be a good one just to keep in the cupboard in case I'm really, really pushed for time. Baked beans, some hand soap, some deodorant, some steak cut oven chips because we didn't get round to having our fish and chips and mushy peas the other day. So I'm going to do them one night this week instead. Uh, some pepper pig yogurt, spaghetti, a loaf of bread and some of the part baked baguettes because they're handy to have. The pasta sauce that we always get, some tomato ketchup. And then I've got some hot cross buns and I've got some crumpets to put away in the freezer. These are just handy, I think, if you've had like a big lunch, say on a Sunday, um, you, you don't fancy much in the evening, but you can't really go to bed with nothing because you know you'll wake up hungry. These are great, so I've just got some of those. And then some custard creams. I picked up two of these little lunchbox saurines. My son isn't keen at all, but my daughter loves them. So she's only tried the apple ones, but we've got the strawberry ones as well. I think they were half price at about 75 pence, I want to say. Um, so I've stocked up some twirls and then these Thai sweet chili pop chips because they were on offer. We've not tried those ones. Never had these either, the prawn cocktail quavers. So I'm going to give those a bash because they were on offer, as were the Monster Munch. Up here, some Diet Coke, some Magnus. And then down here, I got two of these last week, actually. One for me and one for my mum, because we absolutely love the tin. They're chocolate, like roses, but with a Kath Kidston design tin. And I'm a sucker for a tin. Um, so I got us one each last week, but only one of them was okay. The other one had a huge dent. Um, so I had to send that one back and just hope that they still had them this week, which they did. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that one. Uh, the six mini bags of popcorn because they didn't have a big bag. And then these wind up racing sprouts, which I'm going to put away for Christmas Day. Just things like this just help 
a meal time pass with two young kids they can wind them up and have a race when they're getting fed up so yeah that's everything i realized i hadn't actually filmed the meal plan and i know some people quite like to know what we eat in the week as well so on monday we actually had rigatoni which is like a smoked sausage in a tomatoey sauce with the really thick pasta tubes i can't remember what they're called but i mean they're rigatoni pasta but um yeah that's what we had and we had that with garlic bread and some salad surprisingly the kids do like that it's not spicy um which is probably why they do like it but yeah like a smoked sausage which yeah they seem to like tuesday we had chicken and stuffed peppers so i think i showed you on the video uh i just literally halved the red peppers we made up a spicy rice with like garlic onion loads of spices i stuffed the peppers uh sprinkled cheese put them in the oven and then we had some katsu chicken fillets that i'd bought in audi i think a while back uh took those out used those and then just did a big salad bowl in the middle for us to pick out and then wednesday was like homemade fish and chips so we had um, the fish fillets that I'd got and then we used the chips and we had mushy peas with that and then we made up some Mayflower curry sauce so it felt like a treat. Thursday spaghetti bolognese um it makes its way onto our meal plan almost every week it just it's just such an easy meal I know that I can just put it in front of the kids and they're gonna eat it we all like it um so yeah that's just an easy one, spaghetti bolognese. On Friday, we're gonna have scotch eggs, which I'm gonna make with the sausage meat. They're actually really, really easy to make. You just boil the eggs, wrap the sausage meat round, um, breadcrumb them, half an hour in the oven, really, really easy. And we just have that with potatoes and beans, I think. Saturday, we're gonna have a barbecue because it actually is gonna be surprisingly nice here in England. Um, yeah, it, it looks okay, the forecast looks fine. And I think this will be our last barbecue, so we're gonna make the most of it. And Sunday, we are having roast gammon with Yorkshire puddings and all the veg that I've got in the fridge um, to use up. Yeah. A big roast dinner so yeah that's what we're having there's a couple of variations occasionally but generally that's what we will stick with thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you would like to subscribe to my channel that would be great i'm on instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehogger too and on channel mom with the name mama hedgehog i'm really sorry that it's a little bit um food haul heavy at the moment on this channel um it's just I thought I'd have loads of free time. It's not really working out that way for various reasons, but um, I will try my best to try and do a couple of recipe videos and I might do some like favourite videos and things as well. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that it's a little bit food haul heavy. Having said that, they are always the most popular ones. Um, so I know it's not like the end of the world, but yeah, there will be a little bit more variety eventually when everything has just calmed down a little bit. But yeah, I hope you all have a fab week and I will see you soon. Bye.